is the secret to a shooting competition's success. Is it the target's accessibility prize pot? Well, whatever it is, they're doing it at the Jack Pike Open, and we've come along to discover just what it is. The Open consists of a pool shoot, a high tower, and 120 testing targets. It's held at Sporting Targets Clayground in Bedfordshire, and with 800 shooters travelling from all over to attend this event, it makes it bigger than some of the European or World Championships. And there is even a championship score setting the pace. Leading the way is Aaron Harvey with a respectable 116. It's brilliant, yeah, we've got massive support from um, Jack Pike. Uh, Gavin at Thatchery um, supported it from the start, obviously hence the name. So we're now in their eighth year and um, they continue to support, support us very well. Everybody that comes gets something to go away with. We, we've got a sponsorship from Pillar this year as well, so we're giving a set of magnetos every day, which is a, which is a very good prize. Um, local Evans Horseshaw Ford, they've sponsored the pool stand, so you know they're £100 every day for that. We've got stuff as well from CCI, Chromatic, so all the sponsors. It's brilliant just to have them on board. Fiocchi, they've given us 8,000 cartridges, so there's something for everyone to take away. Sporting's on and up at the moment. There's a lot of people out there doing competition shooting. Um, we try and give good value, um, put a good shoot on, give good friendly service, and add those little extra things in, you know, like the goodie bags, the extra prizes, waters, apples on, on the stands and that sort of thing. You know, it all helps to, to bring people along and have an enjoyable day not just a competition. Among the crowds of competitors are the Jack Pike sponsored shots here in good spirits. Andy Crow is in attendance and looking to take more of a social crown. It's a good shoot. We've got nice challenging targets here coming off the tower here and that. So, uh, but it's just a chance for all the sponsors from Jack Pike. They, we all get together on one of the days and today's the day, giving each other, giving each other a load of sticks. Uh, no, it's been good fun. I missed some silly ones like uh, the rabbit, that's, that's cost me big time that has because they've got a few rabbits here and I don't know why. I'll probably shoot more rabbits with the 1.7 than I can with my shotgun so um, I'll probably do better bringing the 1.7 next year and shoot the rabbits with that but I'm, I've, I've done well. I've, I've beat the boys from Jack Pike and that's the main thing. That's what it's all about, trying to beat them. I've come out quits, quits on top, we always put a bit of a bet on so that's my goal for the day that is. There are 15 different layouts and 120 targets to be tackled by the shooters in just one day. It is as much of a mental challenge as a physical one. A uh, good event on the calendar every year, shot, shot the last sort of three years in a row I think, and um, this year come back as part of the Jack Pike team and shot with a good shoot with the guys. I think the last two years in a row I've been one place out of the prizes, so this year it would be nice to come in the, you know, the top, position, or top positions and obviously pick up something. It's all, it's all fairly close, all fairly fillable cars at the moment, but I've got a feeling it's uh, supposed to open out a little bit more and get a bit more testy and rangy. Ford Evans Holshaw are supporting the event and are including cash prizes each day for the highest score on the pool shoot. But the talk of the day is the high tower. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen it this year. It's a killer. It, it, it really is a killer, this one, sir. But no, it's, there's some fairly good scores in there. I think there's a 45 or 46, I think Mark Windsor put in, so that's a, that's a seriously good score. Apparently there's some real long ones. There is plenty for everyone taking on the course, with the social side remaining a big draw for those who aren't in with a chance of a podium finish. Started off okay, um, it's, it's quite different this year, there's a lot of close targets in the early stands which kind of suits me because I'm not very good, um, but now we've started to get to some of the longer stuff, uh, yeah, I'm reverting to type. I normally shoot every year with these guys, um, mostly because it's, uh, it's good fun, you know, um, obviously the Jackpipe boys are clients of ours and it's nice to come and spend a bit of time and have a chat, plenty of banter, um, to let you know how badly you're shooting, that's for sure. It's, it's, it's well organised, for one, you know, there's no waiting around on the stands most of the time, you know, it's, it's efficiently run, all the traps are reliable, everyone's friendly, you know, it's, it's well policed, well secured. Um, it's a nice ground, you know, I, I can see why it's, why it's pretty popular and I can see why the numbers are growing. For me, I, I shoot with uh, the old Gits Club, as I call them today. <laughs> uh, we just have a really good day. It's good fun, it's very well organised here. Um, you, you get round really easily and we just have a good time. The results come rolling in and Aaron Harvey manages to hang on to his place as high gun but he's joined by two other shooters, Richard King and Olympic gold medalist Richard Folds. 
congratulations to them. With the event being another huge success, there's no telling how big this competition could get. We'll see you next year to find out.